Randy Whetstone Jr. here with KY Sports TV. Uh, it's a pleasure to have my guest, Coach James Schuler, here at Fern Creek High School, also founder of Go Hard in the Paint. Coach, how are you today? Blessed. Blessed day. If I'm sitting here with you, Randy, and, and uh, we're still playing basketball, we're blessed. Yeah, it was an incredible historic season that Fern Creek had last year, um, just re really rewriting the history books here at the school, uh, but I see that there are other things that you're doing outside of Fern Creek as it pertains to basketball and athletics. Tell us a little bit about that as the founder of Go Hard in the Bank. Uh, yes, I, ever since I was able to get in the game, I've been about community. I'm a project, a product of my community. Uh, I grew up in the West End of Louisville, and our only outlet at times was basketball. And so many times you hear those stories and they can start to become cliche, but at the end of the day, those are real stories from real people. And I have real stories and real events and things that I've been involved with with people in the community ever since I've been a child. So now we really want to give back. So Go Hard in the Paint gives me a route and an avenue to give back to my community. Uh, and it also helps me to improve basketball in the state of Kentucky, uh, as well as use it as a draw to bring kids in. Tell me, what about the program do you believe will um, really draw attention from others? And what about the program will be different from other programs around the city and state? Well, that's a very good question. First, Go Hard in the Pain, uh, you know, started as a training uh, mechanism to help kids get better. As it's grown, it's took on so many different uh, phases. There are so many different people involved now. So we've actually... We still do a lot of basketball and uh, travel and play locally and play regionally, but we've also moved out of that phase to take it to the next phase, which is our culture. And now GHITP has become a culture and a, and a way of life to go hard every day, to respect others, to have character, to understand that you can make mistakes in life, but you have, you have to have the bounce back uh, to get back on the right path. So Go Hard in the Pain has been able to expand the baseball. Um, We'll be doing some track. Um, we're looking at getting into lacrosse. Uh, so we've now expanded into other sports. We're also doing a, a great job of working with other AAU programs like Team Rise, like Louisville United, like the Louisville Legends, the Louisville Magic, and making sure that each one of us have a plot of children that we take care of, but we're all working on that same scale in that same uh, system to help all of our kids out, even if I have to call one of the other coaches to get a referral. Uh, so Go Hard in the Paint has turned into a culture that is uh, recognized and looked upon other programs as a strong program in the state of Kentucky. Uh, we respect other programs and what they do. So we've been, we've been able to build up a coalition uh, which is helping our kids in the state of Kentucky get better. Um, the more you work together, uh, and the more we use our synergies, we use our, our revenues, and we use our talents and knowledge, the more the kids are going to get better. So it's a two-folded monster here. I'm a competitive person, obviously, being the head coach at Fern Creek. We want to compete for state championships every year. Uh, but I also am a big component of developing the person, not just on the court. Uh, and the person off the court, which makes for a better community, uh, better mayors, better uh, judges, better lawyers, policemen. Uh, so Go Hard in the Paint has been able to allow me, yes, to, to still have travel AAU basketball and travel, to train at a high level with athletes of all different skill levels, but most importantly to create a culture that is now being recognized by other programs as, as an avenue or a plug to better reach children and help children and community adults as well. Mm -hmm. Coach, when you think about just uh, being inclusive, tell me, who is Go Hard in the Paint? Who, who does it fit? Who is it for when you think about race, demographics, things of that nature as you build this culture? Uh, Go Hard in the Paint, uh, when it first started off, I would say, I, I think the most recognizable person with Go Hard in the Paint in the first four or five years was, was myself, Coach Shula. Uh, since that time, it has become a melting pot for everyone. Uh, there are so many coaches on my staff 
that when you say go hard in the paint now, you may say George Cosby, our Tony Rogers, our Chris Bailey, our Stephon Harrison, and there's a long list of coaches that I didn't name and trainers, Josh Leslie and John Anthony. So go hard in the paint is now uh, embodied what we would like our world to look like. So many different faces, so many different walks of life, but I truly must say all on one common mission to, to help the children. Um, since that growth and since we've been able to show inside of our organization that we have unity, that it's not about one person. One person cannot make this type of movement go. It takes a group of people working together. Um, I've seen that we've been able to step in many different avenues and, and doors. And one of those doors that we are currently in a phase of is in facilities. Uh, we've, we've needed a home and thank you to all the great places that have allowed us to use their facilities to teach kids basketball, baseball, or any other sport we were doing at that time. Uh, but now we are currently in, in two deals uh, that are both going to be great for our community. One is with my longtime basketball partner in Louisville Sports Academy, LSA. Um, we are currently uh, in a project uh, to build a new facilities on um, Old Factory Lane, uh, which will be a multi-sport facilities uh, that will encompass tennis, volleyball, basketball, football, track, um, speed and agility. Uh, it will be a one-stop shop for athletes to go and make sure that they can take their game to the next level as well as their off-the-court game to the next level. Uh, the second project that I've been blessed to be a part of um, is with the Meredith House, Meredith School. Uh, that project will be uh, in existence and really rolling in about the next three months. Uh, they are starting with early childhood, uh, working with kids as young as six, six weeks old. And, uh, and eventually their plans are to build that up into a charter school type environment where kids are able to go from six weeks old until they graduate uh, and leave for college. Um, we, the Meredith uh, Foundation is, is, is a special one to me. Um, it is located in the West End. It's the old Portland School. Um, and uh, they purchased that property and as soon as they purchased it, they, they sought after uh, Go Hard in the Paint and said, we need your culture here. Uh, and it was extra special to me because it, it wasn't, we need your basketball here. It was, we need your culture and your positive vibe here. And with their goals for education and for community and for athletics, it, fit, it, uh, met, the, uh, it met the things that we were trying to do as an organization to Go Hard in the Paint. And it allowed us to now be on a very, very nice campus that is going through some renovation now to make it look even better for the community. Uh, those programs will be affordable programs for the community, and we're, we're going to implement a system um, in, the, in the downtown area uh, like no other. Um, and with, with the hopes of me being on both sides of the table with the East End Project and the downtown project, and being that plug, I see that the synergy all around town is going to be better. So right now, myself and many other coaches and many other business pe businessmen, we're really working together to grab this correlation and to become hands-on. Not just to say we need to make change, not to point the finger they need to do more or he should do more, regardless of what their career is or what they do. No, we're all going to go out and do more. And once we start to build economic state uh, stability, amongst that community and we mesh it with the East End, now we become to build a bridge that is a positive and vibrant culture. And that's what Go Hard and Paint's mission is going forward. Yeah. Last question, Coach, for you. With all things considered, what is the program's motto? What is the message that you're really trying to solidify within uh, some of the kids, some of the players, and uh, the message to really just send him, send them home? Yeah, so Go Hard in the Paint is trying to, one, basketball has always been our number one producer, our number one program, uh, and we take a lot of pride in what we teach our athletes, and when they go out and represent across the country, take a lot of pride in that. But as you grow and as power uh, seems, seamlessly starts to come upon you, that becomes more responsibility. So the responsibility of myself 
and, and my board members and the other members of this coalition is now to get not just into athletics but into community as well. So healthy living, uh, financial stability, um, family values, and of course athletics, um, which always uh, creates a great environment. And then as well, we would like to create jobs for the community and not just say, hey, you can go, you can go here and try this, but to bring jobs to that community so they're right there. Um, so now at this point, the mission is still what it started from day one, which is to, to have go hard in the pain and other affiliated programs who have like-minded goals to take our athletes from Kentucky and take them across the country and to show our student athletes. But along with that and what's added on to that is now more of a global issue, but we're going to start in our community. And that is to help change the community by going out and putting in sweat equity. Wonderful, Coach. Well, there you have it. Uh, coach James Schuler, head coach here at Fern Creek, but also founder of Go Hard in the Paint, doing great, excellent things uh, that goes far beyond just a hardwood. And, Coach, we're excited. We look forward to the expansion and the great things that come in the future. Thank you. Right now, I'm excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.